Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Gogo -Go and I'm a painter and I love self-expression via style and beauty. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a review and demo of the new Glossier Cloud Paint. Basically Glossier launched four shades of new cream blushes and I got the shades Puff and Beam. Um, uh oh, <laughs> they came out with four different shades and the campaign was beautiful it, everything was clean and white as normal each of the blushes were modeled after new york sunset so i kind of like that i love when makeup just has a unique theme and i thought that was pretty cool so they all have names like puff beam dusk and haze so that's the idea and it, these are supposed to be a new innovative formula that is just cloudy soft pillowy airy um, when I think of this, I thought I think of like everyday looks, something really soft and feminine. I chose to get the two these two colors because they were the most the lightest ones, and I felt like these might be the coolest on my skin tone as far as not being so dramatic because I am pretty light. Um, so this that's why I chose these two colors. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and test these out really quickly before I get into the actual swatching and trying on. I wanted to show you guys how it comes. It comes in a box like this and it comes, opens up like this, skin first, makeup second, and then the typical um, Glossier Pink Bubber Mailer which has both of the blushes inside. And then it also comes with a poster, some stickers, another little thing, priming moisturizer sample, and a seasonal winter 2016-17 sticker and I don't know I just want to show this part because I know some for people like me I'm a big fan of beauty as like a ritual and as something like a cherished time and I just like to take I don't know I like each little thing like from what my makeup comes in how it looks all of that so opens like this and they come in these two little boxes cute I guess plain cute glossier labeling on the side first shade that I'm gonna be trying on is beam and beam is a peachy a light peach apricot color I think this looks really natural with yellow on undertone skin tones like mine and I just think this is gonna be a winner so let's try it out <laughs> I'm just gonna I put some on the back of my hand and I'm dabbing it like this So the formula is really smooth and it's really like lotion-y. So it reminds me of a lotion almost. But I really like this blush color on me. I'm really a fan of it. It's looking pretty cute. So can you guys see? This is literally really light. I didn't put that much product on. Hopefully you guys can see the color. I was a big fan of trying out this formula because I have dry skin and a lot of blushes and stuff are powdery and I try to stray away from powdery stuff. Especially because I like my skin to just feel natural, look natural and be a little dewy, but not so dewy, but just natural. It is buildable, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to layer on a little more product. This is definitely a bit more dramatic, but it gives me a really flushed look. And like I said, since the coral has a little more orange in it, th that is working with my skin tone and it's looking really, really nice. The next shade is Puff, which is a baby pink cotton candy peony uh, soft pink. <laughs> so yeah, let's test this one out. This one is really, really light, and I'm not sure how it's going to look on. The The last one looked really natural, but we're going to test this one out too. So once again, I just put a bit on um, the flat part of my hand, and I'm going to start dabbing in. 
I feel like this is one I will wear definitely in the springtime. This seems like really like hot weather, sunburnt. I don't know, at least that's what it's giving me. This one is really pink. It is a bit more dramatic than the last one, but I think it's really cute. And so far, I can definitely say that the color payoff is amazing on these. Um, it is definitely buildable. Um, this is one layer, and I'm pretty sure two is going to look really crazy, but I'm going to try it. Um, they're buildable, and I'm, so far, I'm truly loving the, the, um finish of them they they feel really really natural on my skin like i said the texture is really lotion like gel like almost like some under eye serum or something it's really smooth and i'm not feeling like there's a lot on my face so i'm happy about that so i'm gonna go ahead and try one more layer like i said i would just to see how it, this one looks with more so this can get like really, really dramatic. And yeah, I guess if you're going for something like super bold and super like runway inspired, then these are really your friend. Okay, so yeah, this is super dramatic, but this is what the pink one looks like. My overall consensus for these are that they're amazing. Um, I know I have the tried the milk makeup lip and cheek and that one slides around a bit it's a bit oily but these like I said since they're like a lotion it's kind of like you place it into the skin and it doesn't seem as if it's gonna do too much moving um yeah so um I, I think it's a pretty it's a pretty stable even if I try to like wipe it off like this I don't really see too much